They said I can't bring the camera into VIP. Oh boy. More here to let y'all know. I'm going to a little networking event with my bestie. I'm gonna show y'all some of the escapades and everything. But I wanted to show y'all my outfit and then you know just come on the camera to start this video. Hey Dana Lodger. <laughs> But I'm about to do my leg day. It is Monday, January the 30th. So tomorrow's the 31st. And then we'll start February off. And it's going to be tantalized this season. Well, tantalized season doesn't actually start until February the 19th. That's when Pisces season starts. But February, I'm celebrating all my, my period. Um, so yeah, let's. I'm going to show you guys some of my leg day. Um, well, not even leg day. I'm doing glutes. I was going to do leg day, but I forgot my... Um, my knee band so i'ma just do glutes for today so i could just focus on that the inside your heart is there any room for me i won't have to hold my breath till you get down on my knee because you only want to hold me when i'm looking good enough did you ever fool me would you ever picture us every time i pull my hair it was me out of fear but you'll find me ugly and one day you'll disappear because what's the point of crying it was never even enough all right y'all so i finished my mobility um, I started my RDLs. After my RDLs, I'm going to do my hip thrusts. And then I'm going to do um, RDLs, hip thrusts, Bulgarians, and then the extension machine. And that's going to be everything. All right, y'all. So it's time for our favorite exercise. Favorite exercise. My hippies. Because I don't know what hippies are. Um, right now, I'm trying to work myself back up. So I would say my like PR right now is like 160, 165. I always start with something lower and I do about three to four sets. So I start with like 120, then I wake my way to like 135, then 150, then I hit my PR. So I usually do around, like I said, three to four sets and like six to eight reps. And the six to eight reps is like my last PR. When I'm starting off with my lower weight, I usually go a little bit higher in reps, so like eight to 12. From you know researching everything, that's what I'm thinking I'm supposed to be doing. Um, like I said, I'm no professional, y'all. I'm just a girl who wants to have a healthy. Hey, Tantalizers. So me and Fran, Fran put on her shoes, but we are at the Prudential Center, guys. It's giving, y'all gonna see when I show y'all, but we're going to a basketball game in HBCU, or just an HBCU basketball game, and it's gonna be lit. I'm gonna give y'all all the inside tea. Hopefully they got refreshments in there, cause I don't think we can bring our water in, but yeah, it's gonna be lit, so. I'm going to set my shoes. We're going to see. Fran, you want to say hi? Hi, Tantalizers. How y'all doing? Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. We got here safely. Period. Oh, we elevated. We got box seats, y'all. <laughs> and that's all <laughs> period. Hey. Ah. Ooh. Thank you, bro. You're like, y'all from the school? Oh, I was like, nah, we from Dresden. <laughs> um, some more luxury, some more abundance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To having this mindset of every place we go, we deserve only the highest and the most Here luxury. Is. I don't fucked up. They said I can't bring the camera into VIP. Oh boy. The fact that I really can't bring my camera in, I'm like, I know what, like, it's cameras all around this fucking stadium. So, like, the fact that I couldn't bring my camera in, I'm just like, that's really, really weird to me. But I guess it's just protocol, so I'm gonna just have to accept it. So now I'm walking back to the car. Now, Mauricio, where you at, Mauricio? Mauricio, I know you're somewhere over here. Oh, I see you. There you go. Been a day with us at Legacy Q times three. I started my morning off by oil pulling. I'm still new to it, but I do it every day, 15 to 20 seconds before I brush my teeth. I wash my funky butt and I did not take out my twist the night before. So I literally had 10 minutes to get that bun all the way together, but we give God all of the glory. I also had 10 minutes to get my makeup done, 
but it got done. <laughs> we finally made it to the event and VIP told me I had to put my camera back in the car. I was just like the ghetto. Daddy, thank you for getting us into VIP. Love you. Y'all would have thought the president was in the building the way they was acting about my camera, but it's okay. Me and my girlies, we're going to have a good time regardless. And we sure the fuck did. The amenities in VIP, y'all, were 10 out of 10. Free food, free liquor, and views. You could not beat it. Honestly, one of the reasons why I wanted to go to the event anyway was because I went to PWI myself. I did not get the opportunity to go to HBCU for college. So being around all this love for the sport and being around all these black folk during Black History Month just made it so much more tasty and tantalizing but overall the event was 10 out of 10 i had a great time and i can't wait to see y'all in the next video girl if i do i know you do look at me in the mirror girl while i put this on you you have a fly spirit girl if y'all ain't listen to sex in the porch my party next door we're gonna just pass by diddy park what y'all doing because he ate that up I mean, your body is like, oh, God. And we are here for women, oh, God. And we are here for women, oh, God. And I feel it nonstop. And we are here for women, oh, God. He ate that up. Sex in the Porsche. So I honestly only came on here to show y'all my smoothie. OMG, it has strawberries, bananas, chia seeds. I think I already talked about my smoothies that I make on this channel already, but I'm gonna be doing like a, a IG TikTok reel about like all my, um, I guess I would say healthier alternatives when I have a sweet tooth. Um, I'm trying to really like, of course, eat sustainably, 80-20 diet. However, when I'm craving something real sweet, I'm like, why not, you know, fill my body up with antioxidants, potassium, protein, and fiber. And my protein and my um smoothies really do the job. Like, come on. Do y'all see what it's giving? Look at the texture. Look at it. Oh, yummy in my tummy. Hey, tantalizers. The sun was out. I don't know what happened. It's only been like. 30 minutes since the sun was out so i don't know where it went um but i just came home from the gym i'm about to go do the laundry but i wanted to come and smoke by the lake because the sun was supposed to be out so i don't know what's going on but i'm still gonna enjoy myself it's a little colder now too so i'm like i don't know what happened but i'm still gonna sit here watch the geese think about life um I'm just so blessed y'all so 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 blessed um i went to church today and they were talking about how you you know you have to make sacrifices sometimes in order to get the things that you want and that goes with consistency that goes with like you know saying no to things that you know will interfere with your goals um saying no to things that you know displeases god if you believe in god i do um so oh the sun's coming back out look at that um but yeah it's, I'm just so blessed. I'm immensely blessed. I don't know. I think I talked to, to y'all about my birthday trip. My birthday trip is coming up in a little bit, a little bit over two weeks. Um, I still have a lot of stuff to do for that trip, but I know that God is just going to put me in the position that he needs me to be, and it's all going to work out in my favor. But yeah, y'all look at the sun coming out. <laughs> you know, just for me. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to enjoy myself and then go do my laundry. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all for a little bit before I sit here. Um, and yeah, I'm so hungry, y'all. Um, I had a protein shake this morning and a banana and some grapes. But I need food. So as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to get me something to eat because I am starving. And I want to make like some chicken thighs tonight with this leftover rice I have. I don't know which direction I want to go with the chicken. I don't know if I want to go the Asian route. I don't know if I want to go the like the Mexican route. I mean, like a Chipotle bowl. I'm leaning probably towards more the Chipotle bowl because I have some avocado I got in mind with the tortilla chips. So yeah, it's definitely probably going to be Mexican with the corn. So I just came from the dentist. I had to get a cleaning, check up all that. Y'all. Y'all know I'm a cookie, sweet, snack, all that. 
Y'all, they said I had no cavities. I was like, me? I floss every day. I brush my teeth every day. So, but I still felt like, you know, with all the sweets that I eat, like I would, you know, still have cavities. Y'all, I have no cavities. I was so proud of myself. I sent my friends a snap like, y'all, I ain't got no cavities. I was so lit. Um, so I'm actually at the DMV right now. Um, I had to update my reg car registration and my ID. Um, I mentioned this already, but I'm going on my birthday vacation in less than two weeks, y'all. So I need to update my ID, get a new picture. So I'm actually about to, I brought my makeup, which has my name, like my uh, initial letter on it, M. Um, brought my makeup and I'm gonna do my face in the car because I was never taking that ID picture without a brand new face um and i feel like when i took my picture four years ago i i guess i forgot that they were gonna take my picture or whatever the fuck i don't know but yeah i was not prepared this time i'm prepared and i'm about to beat this face so yeah i'm just sitting in the car now i'm gonna beat my face not gonna take me that long y'all know it's gonna probably take like 20 minutes looks after and then i'm gonna head into the dmv and show y'all what's up it's mad bright but the sun has been out in a couple days so i'm not mad at it but if my labor looks crazy on film it's because my sister stole my setting spray be her ass when she gets home when i get home be her ass but yeah i'm about to go on the dmv now take this id photo and we're gonna slay when i tell y'all people who park like this especially at places like this that are going to be overpopulated why like this just pisses me off but yeah, y'all, so they told me when I got in there, like, oh, we don't do IDs here. You got to go to another location. It's okay. Challenges arise and you move forward and you just keep pushing. So I found a five below, got me a charger. So this is going to be my little car charger. Mine just like my fourth charger. Like, I don't need any more chargers, but I need one right now, expeditiously. Um, and then also, while I'm in five below, I literally just went in there for a charger and then also see if they have some setting spray so my sister can give me back my setting spray. But I saw this little brown maxi dress and I was like, I got the smallest size possible. So I'm going to definitely try that on for y'all later because if it's fitting, it's going on the birthday trip. <laughs> but yeah, right. I'm not even sure how many stops I made at this point, y'all. But I'm finally at the DMV, the right DMV. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to go in and take redo my ID so that I can be up to date and no issues when I go um, out the country. Mm -hmm. oh, how I just beat my face for absolutely nothing. Well, I look good, so it's not for nothing. However, y'all, like, I go into the DMV. And she's like, oh, honey, you got to make an appointment online. If not, you just going to have to renew it on, on the um, on the camera. I mean, um, you're going to have to just renew it uh, online. This is why I just love Princeton. Look what I stumbled upon. This place called Milk and Cookies. I just got, went in there and got some cookies. So I'm going to eat those when I get after my tacos. But look at this cuteness. From G, I've never heard of this place. Never heard of it. Wow. I finally made it to the taco place and the girl's like, oh, just take one of these and we'll buzz it when you're ready. I'm like, I need to go. First of all, press the count your fucking days because why the fuck do I need to pay almost $2 an hour for parking? Are y'all dumb? Are y'all high? Mind you, the thing is ringing, y'all. I have to go all the way back to my car to put more meat in the parking, but they just gonna have to be another way. I, it wasn't that far, but still like $2 for parking is fucking crazy. That's asinine. I don't even know if I'm using that word right now. You said what? I got a lot of stuff I gotta do, so I'm like, I think I'll probably do it that Monday before we leave. My phone was dying. Look what I found. I found this little brown dress, right? Um, I did a a, a 15 minute beat in my car for TikTok, so I'm recording that later and posting that for like probably next week. Y'all, so I'm on my way to the grocery store. Um, it is raining. Um, I should have been went to the grocery store earlier, but you know, it's a late start to the day, but we're gonna get things done. Um, just gotta get fruits, vegetables, you know, the usual vibes. 
My mom only drinks a specific type of coffee. I think she's not a picky eater, but I think I honestly be getting some of my pickiness from her because she only drinks that specific type of coffee and that and the specific type of creamer as well. And tell me why, y'all, that is the coffee and the creamer that's always sold out. Like every time I go to the store, gone. They never have it. And it's the um, hazelnut uh, international delight. That is the only creamer she likes. Like she says, oh, I like other ones. Y'all, that's the only one she likes. Like I wish I could just get her like a, a big 15 gallon, gallon bottle of that thing because she loves that damn creamer. But yeah, just picking up the stuff that we need for the week. Meal prepping, you know the vibes. Um, if y'all are not following me on Instagram and uh, Instagram and TikTok, please follow your girl. Catch it up with all the latest and greatest. So I'm going to give me a burger. You cannot go shopping if you are hungry. Like, that's just a, a rule of thumb. Do not go shopping while you're hungry. So I'm going to give me a Red Robin burger. Chill out. Watch me um, the last two episodes of Hell's Kitchen. Y'all, I'm a competition sh reality show girly. Com Amazing Race, Hell's Kitchen, Master Chef, like those are the type of shows I enjoy watching. They're, you know, very high, fun, like energetic. I don't like watching stuff that's kind of like traumatizing because it messes with like my OCD and my anxiety. So I watch happy, fun stuff, competition, reality. I love those type of shows. So yeah, I'm gonna watch those two episodes while I eat my Red Robin, then go shopping. So by the time y'all see me back on camera, it's probably gonna be a little darker. So bear with me. Um, I did buy the newer light, so I've been using it for my photos and my reels and things like that. But I need a light for my actual vlogging camera so that I can, you know, use it when it's dark. So I have to, you know, put that in progress. But taxes are about to hit soon, so let's see what it do. So I'll see y'all when I get back on camera. I told y'all next time I came on camera, it was going to be dark as fuck. So tell me why, y'all, I... So I was gonna go to Red Robin and get me a burger and some fries because me and my bestie love Red Robin and I haven't been there in a while. And I thought the Red Robin was like right by the shop price, so I was just gonna do a whoop-de-boop. Yo, know, in the midst of me doing my whoop-de-boop, I realized that Red Robin is not Red Robin. Red Robin is Ruby Tuesday. I pull up, I'm like, I don't want this. I, I have been in the season of going with the flow and allowing things to change and, you know, alter to my liking. And I was like, I'm not feeling this. I'm going with my gut. So I was like, all right, let me find a burger spot. And I like real beef. I like, I want the burger. I want to see you like crowned in the ground beef. I don't want no frozen patty. Who wants frozen patty? So I found this little spot next to the shop right. And I'm actually, this is not the shop right I was intending to go to, but it's a shop right right by. So I said, like I said, go with the flow. I'm a water sign. I want to continue to just go with the flow and swim and allow, like I said, for changes to occur and i feel like that's when god blesses you when you just go with the flow and allow him to work through your life so yeah i'm gonna try this little spot i'm gonna let y'all know how it is um it's called crust on fire in mount laurel um if you live in like south jersey area i don't know what, I'm, uh, what type of burger i'm getting yet but i'll show y'all like once i get in there and stuff so So yeah, I know I have really high standards for food. So I just finished my burger from Crest and Fire. I got the Cali burger. 
it had avocado, bacon, egg um, on it. Also chipotle mayo, but this is what happened. Um, I checked the food before I leave because you know I gotta check my food, make sure ain't no cheese on here. Check it, the burger is soaked in chipotle mayo, like soaked the burger, the egg, the, the bread soaked. So I was like, alright, bet, like, you know, open your throat chakra up and say something. Like a Karen would say something. So I was like, alright, bet, I'm gonna say something. So I was like, hi, can I just get a new bun? Because the chipotle mayo was like, it was just too much overpower in the burger. And he was like, no problem. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And then I realized they're making a whole fresh burger. So I'm like, all right, appreciate that. Thank you so much. I guess because they probably saw me recording it. Like at any point she could, you know, do a Yelp or whatever, which is what the people at my job do. Um, but the burger was decent. I would give it, it was definitely charcoal. Um, the fries were really, really good. Um, I just didn't like the bun. The bun was just too thick. Like it was too thick of a bun. Like I should have took some of the breading out. Um, and then I liked how they like charcoal the bun and put the name of the um, restaurant, which is really, really cute. Um, so yeah, I'd probably give it like a, like a, like a, definitely room for improvement, but it was pretty solid, pretty solid. I'm so happy I got that versus, like I said, a frozen patty or like Wendy's or Burger King or whatever the fuck, because I wanted real beef and you could taste the charcoal on that thing. It was, it was decent. It was pretty good. Hello. Um, they only got chicken with the seed tuna on sale. They don't got like um, the bumblebee. That's not enough. I like a lot of sandwich. my headphone out for this because them grapes look crunchy as fuck. If you eat grapes then you know them grapes gotta be crunchy. And I'm gonna eat all those fucking grapes. Not me and definitely not folks in my house. So I'm gonna just get like half of these. Yeah I'm gonna just get like half. 